I'm the local vicar here in Ashton under Lyne. Look after five churches of which Holy Trinity is one. Um, and uh, I'm the chair of the management committee here in the centre. And so I've been quite instrumental in everything happening in, in this centre. So the lottery have been very generous with us. Um, we're a very small Christian community that's done quite a lot of work with the wider community to work out what was most needed uh, from this centre. Uh, and then having done that consultation, um, the lottery were wonderful in funding us for the first three years of the project, something we're really pleased with and even more delighted now that they're funding a further three years as well. Uh, we're focused primarily on those who are hardest to reach in the community, uh, which is on the whole women, um, but that's not the only focus of what we do. Um, but there are a large number of women who are trapped in a way in their own houses, um, who through this work at the centre have been able to move out into the community, begin to take on uh, some new things. An amazing piece of work at the moment um, with the Exchange Theatre uh, and women from groups here are making the costumes for Wuthering Heights um, which is a, a production which is going ahead very soon and that's been something in partnership with Jigsaw Housing, uh, the Exchange and ourselves to make that happen. Uh, there's a lot of uh, English for those who speak other languages as well um, significant amount of that work going on, part fu well, funded by Tameside College uh, and using uh, specialist expertise in this area. Uh, okay, so my name's Lee Derbyshire. I'm the Neighbourhood Policing Inspector for Tameside North, which includes the area of Ashton St. Peter's and I lead a neighbourhood policing team of local officers and PCSOs. The value of a, of a centre like Holy Trinity, um, well, it's been invaluable to my and my team's work in St. Peter's. Um, as soon as I landed here as a newcomer to Tameside, Holy Trinity was one of the first places I visited and I was really struck by the strength of the connection to the local community, the quality of work and stuff that was going on here and that's really served us well through some challenging times, um, tackling some difficult issues in that local community. Um, one of the biggest challenges we've had in this area was a legacy of fireworks related antisocial behaviour in the autumn, darker nights period, um, a community that was frightened and traumatised really by that. Um, by us having the centre here, we had a direct link into that community. Um, it was a tough message at times for us in hearing how it was for people, um, but it gave us a real reach in to work with those local residents, supported by the groups here, work with the young people that live in the area and deliver what I've hoped have been some really great results out of that. We've seen, uh, as a result of that work, we've seen some uh, real significant reductions um, down from 70 odd incidents two years ago, 40 odd incidents last year to just 10 this year during the fireworks period. Um, so we're hoping that's made a real difference to local residents. आप इस सेंटर को किस तरह से पाती हैं कि खुश आमदी के लिए किस तरह से ये सेंटर क्या काम करता है ये हमारे लिए बहुत अच्छा है क्योंकि हमारे लिए कोई और जगह भी नहीं थी और हम तो बहुत खुश हैं ठीक है अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह दिस सेंटर होली ट्रेनिटी कम्युनिटी सेंटर इज वेरी लोकल टू द लेडीज एंड इट इज वेरी वॉर्म एंड फ्रेंडली सेंटर एंड होली ट्रेनिटी कम्युनिटी सेंटर कमेटी मेंबर्स दे आर रियली हेल्पिंग Khush Amdeed to prosper and develop as well from this centre. My name is Naila Sharif and I am the chairperson of the Khush Amdeed uh, group um, which we are using every Monday, this centre. It motivates me to become the representative on the committee, uh, committee of the Holy Trinity Community Centre where I am a voice of the community and also uh, encouraging ladies to be use this centre more for their private gatherings as well, which they have used previously for their Eid gatherings, birthday parties, and also their uh, personal uh, gatherings as well. My name's Jackie Moores, and I'm the principal at Tameside College, and I've been involved with Holy Trinity's big lottery-funded project for about two years now, and we work with Holy Trinity as a subcontract partner. Being involved in a subcontract with Holy Trinity has benefits, I think, very much on both sides. So from the college point of view, we're able to make sure that learners are able to access learning who would not otherwise come to the college. So um, Holy Trinity are working with women predominantly who are um, furthest from the labour market, very dis. Uh, 
disadvantaged and disenfranchised and maybe fearful of formal learning opportunities. So what I have seen is that those women are then able to develop confidence and skills and knowledge and progress on to mainstream courses in the college. I understand that working in partnership with Holy Trinity means that that gives them a sustainable future with a subcontract partner because they are constantly seeking external funding in order to carry on the work that they do with these women. So having a small subcontract with us means that that goes some way um, to help them to fund the rest of the important work that they're doing in their centre. Right, I'm Marlene. I've been volunteering here with the ESOL project for about two and a half years. Um, I come because I just love um, helping the uh, ladies to learn English. Um, I feel it's one of the most liberating things that I can do. Uh, we have about, well, we've got about 50 that come on a Tuesday morning, and they're from every nationality. We've got about 52 different nationalities. So it's uh, really lovely to hear their stories, and that's what I get out of it. They, uh, sometimes they can't speak a word of English and we can't speak a word of their language and sometimes it's not on Google Translate, so, but we managed to get there and um, I think that's one of the important things that we're, we're helping them to communicate. We ask them why they come and for me that's one of the important things. They come because they want to teach the kids English. They want to help them with the homework. They come because they want to have an easier job when they're shopping or going to the doctors. And then the, the thing that they all say as well is that they come because they want to improve their English to get a job so they can help, they can commit to the community and contribute. My name's Adnan and I was involved in the start-up of the youth club that runs out of here now, um, that was many, many years ago, 10 years ago. Yeah, for me, this, <laughs> this centre goes a lot further than, than the youth club and the project and the funding that we have. For me, this, because I was born and raised here, you see, and for me, this, this centre's been part of, part of our community since as long as I can remember. Even before we used to run the youth club here, quite regularly we used to use it for, for parties and weddings and get-togethers and stuff like that. So for me, it's... There's a lot more to it than just running a, a youth project, to be honest. It's like, and the, the best thing for me is when we started, to, we started up the youth club, um, it, was, it was right in the heart of the community. And when you're talking about young people coming to a project, how accessible it is, is a huge thing. So we used to, I remember once we tried to set up one in Oxford Park, trying to get young people to, to walk even half a mile to get to what was like a top of the range purpose built sports centre was the hardest thing in the world, whereas you ask them to come to a place like this, yeah, it might not be the fanciest, but the fact that it's on their doorstep in the heart of the community means that people are more likely to come and take part and engage and take ownership and then have a bit of pride in something that they feel like belongs to them because it's got so many memories for them, really. And for me, that was the main thing about this place, um, how it could always attract people from all over the place, even if, even if it isn't the fanciest place in the world. Today I've uh, had the opportunity to speak to, I've got to say, a fantastic bunch of predominantly ladies around hate crime. Uh, this week, the 3rd to the 9th of Feb, is Hate Crime Awareness Week for the sort of GM borough of the North West. More than ever, it's important that we have to tell people that we can't tolerate hate of any kind. And the, the essence of today is to say, look, hate crime, hate incidents, please report them. So it's a very simple message today is tell somebody, don't suffer. Make sure you either use True Vision, the website, use yourself, Carl, in the centre as a third party centre, tell the police, but please tell people. So that's what I'm doing here today. I work uh, for the council, I've been there for a couple of months now, started mid December, and I'm a community cohesion officer. Uh, the reason I do that is because I was in the cops for 30 years, passionate about communities, neighbourhood policing, it actually works. And then to find a centre like Holy Trinity in the middle of Ashton is just fantastic. I mean, I Okay, new to the role, I'm sort of building my own network, but to, to find Carl in the centre within the first week, for me, has been an absolute godsend. So essential for me, for my role, obviously professionally, but for the community, this kind of space is invaluable. My name's Annette McCone. Uh, my job is Head of Student Support at the Manchester College uh, and I'm part of the management committee here at Holy Trinity, uh, looking and advising on education. 
So my relationship with the Holy Trinity began about two years ago when I was the learning manager at Thameside's Adult Community Learning Service. And in that role, we were able to build a really strong partnership with Carl and the team. And what really impressed me was the work of Hasna and Razia. What they were able to do was to introduce community education to women that we had failed to recruit to our courses. By building that partnership with them, we were able to establish a pathway. Uh, and that's the kind of work that we, I really wanted to continue. So when I left ACE, uh, I really wanted to remain committed to the work of the charity, mainly because I've seen how transformational it is. It really has sort of reduced the social isolation of the Muslim women in St. Peter's. And I really wanted to continue to make a difference. So volunteering uh, with this organisation was, was a, a right next step. Hello, my name is Hasna and I'm an outreach worker at this Holy Trinity Community Centre and um, I've been here three years and looking forward to the next three years that are coming ahead. I started off as a volunteer. Um, I had an interest in the local people and helped them to empower them to get them into education and to help them reach their goals and stop the isolation in the area. I've been in this area for about 20 years and I've always had a passion about helping people, helping people reach their potential and being there for people who have nobody in the area. So when this opportunity came along, I was so excited and I came in and I gave my time up to do some volunteering and I met some, um, my manager called Carl Kelso and he has a similar passion. Myself and um, um, a colleague, um, now my colleague Razia was here and we both started off um, delivering English classes and we got ourselves trained up before we was in this job and the training was called Talk English and we, we absolutely loved it. We connected to it straight away and we started the training and we were able to deliver classes here and we realised at that point it was for us and we was really passionate about this job and the community. So we all started there and once we've started, we've, it's just carried on and we've just, it's just been amazing. The highlight for me working here for the last three years definitely is seeing the progression route, people coming out there, isolation, smiles on people's faces, making friends, being able to connect with each other without us being there. And this is what we want to empower them, to give them the power to move on to further education, use other services around the area. So my hopes for the future is we're more sustainable and we're able to asset transfer this centre to the community and carry on the good work that we do here. My name is Ruxana Sharmin and um, actually I moved um, to Manchester in 2018 um, and that time I was really depressed and isolated so one of my next door neighbours she said to me that do you want to go one centre is very near to us then I came with her and then I introduced with um, Hasna and she actually helped me. She said me, you can uh, do the community organization course with us and then you will get the volunteering job, this kind of stuff. So then I came here and um, I did the community organizing course uh, with them. And um, gradually I just uh, get involved with the, all the things like I did some ESOL classes and then I work in the crash with the kids. And after then, uh, I did one of the childcare course and I continue with the crash. And after the Christmas holiday, when the new thing starts, then I um, went with the casual worker uh, contract and now I'm doing the ESOL class so with uh, uh, Thursday morning. It's actually um, level five outstanding awards. Um, I think we got it uh, in 2019. We went there and uh, we actually awarded for the overall things and we did one of the Britain blooms twice. I attend twice and uh, we did uh, like, um, we work with the kids, we clean the whole area. Then uh, um, and uh, I think we had an event called Hanging a Basket. So we, did, uh, we just did the, our planting things. And um, also I learned about one more thing from there. It's called Bugs House something. They are trying to build that things. So yeah, for all of this kind of stuff and women's is all everything all together, we get this award. I'm Inga Hurst. I'm the Director of Creative Learning and Engagement at the Royal Exchange Theatre. 
We've been working with Holy Trinity Church and Community Centre now uh, for the last few months and it's been an amazing partner. They are uh, they do so much for the local community and have really enabled us to deliver a project reaching such a diverse range of people from the community that we could never have reached on our own. They've been incredibly supportive uh, partners who really understand the needs of the project and importantly the participants. So it means that all stages, all the um, women who've been accessing uh, the project have been fully supported uh, through transport, uh, through contacting them, through getting them here to the Royal Exchange um, and also the amazing facilities that they already have at the centre. So the sessions we've had at the centre, you know, they've got brilliant equipment with the sewing machines um, which has enabled us to do a project which, which we've never done before because of the people and the resources at that centre. We've been working uh, with a group of women at the centre uh, for 12 weeks on our uh, production of Wuthering Heights. So they've worked with members of our wardrobe team to develop sewing skills um, and some of that has gone into making costumes which are on our main stage tonight at the Royal Exchange. Uh, so the women are coming here with their friends and family to see the production and to see their work um, on our main stage. Hi there, my name's Kamar. Um, I'm a volunteer here at uh, Ashton Martial Arts uh, based here at Toll Trinity Community Centre um, which is located in more or less the heart of uh, Ash Under Line. Without the centre, um, us as an organisation will be difficult for us to stay here due to the room hire. Um, the whole Trinity um, has, um, has helped us out a lot in terms of giving us a free room hire for around nine to, nine to 12 months it was. Um, and, and now because they give us to, at a discounted rate, uh, it allows us to, to hire the room out so we can um, deliver our martial arts classes every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, my name is Asmina Chowdhury. Um, I work for Jigsaw Homes. Uh, my role is Neighbourhood Engagement Officer. So basically I've been working with the Holy Trinity Community Centre and dealing with a women's project, mainly working with the women. Um, we've held like uh, sewing projects, we've held a working partnership with the Royal Exchange, we've also done other projects like gardening projects, Britain in Bloom, we've also done like creative English projects, so we've done so many amazing stuff within the centre. The women have been fantastic, they've been so much involved, um, they've moved on a long way, um, which has kind of helped with uh, social iso isolation, um, improving their skills, progressing onto further courses, uh, as well as uh, meeting new people. Um, I just can't explain how, um, how I feel about working in partnership with um, Holy Trinity because it's just been an amazing journey. Um, and it's just, I can see the progression of these women, um, that how far they've moved on with their lives. Um, such as also the amazing staff that we've had involved as well to work with and to make a project work. So we've, got, we've had Hasner, Razia, yourself Carl, uh, without you three we, it would have been uh, impossible to make this work. Um, but I can say having this good partnership um, and the integration with the community, um, we've made this project a successful I'm Jo Parry G and I am from the Elite Children and Families Centre which is based in Ashton. Um, we have worked with Holy Trinity for quite a number of years actually, um, certainly since the project started. Um, our role is to come and provide childcare and early year support for the Holy Trinity project and we do that through a creche, so we provide creche provision which is sessional childcare for, to support the mums who are coming into courses here. Um, it's been a fantastic project, the working together has seen us you know, improve outcomes not just for the children but for the mums as well who have built their confidence in being able to leave their children sometimes for the first time knowing that they're being cared for on site and that they can come back at any time obviously this has freed them up to be able to develop themselves and it's just been so empowering for them to be able to come in at any time and get involved in the childcare themselves.
My other role is that um, within this community is that I'm a school governor over at Holy Trinity School and also there's been a school readiness programme um, between the school and Holy Trinity and again that has worked extremely well. It's meant that the children that are now coming into school are much more ready, they're ready to settle, parents understand about routines, they understand the importance of that early education and the children are coming much more prepared. So I'm Timea Ashraf and I came from Hungary and uh, I, when I moved in this area we moved out from the house where we was living so many people together and then we end up having only myself in the house so I was kind of isolated and I was uh, kind of like postnatal depressed uh, person as well and then Hasna introduced me to the center and I started learning English, which helped uh, me a lot because I didn't use my English for 10 years, so I forgot almost everything. And now I progressed the way that I had a chance last year to see how to teach the adults in these classes. And I really enjoyed that and I was able to manage one full table and it was really <laughs> enjoyment for me. It really give me, mm, how can I say, is, Telling you that you're doing something great, you know, is giving you good pleasure, pleasure seeing that the people understand what you say and how you're teaching and you're able to do that. Yeah, so I'm, uh, from there I progressed to be able to translate my books to English. So now I can produce them in English and Hungarian language and I uh, produced two books already I published uh, for children. And uh, I also run my own business with children as well. So. Oh yeah, and I'm a crash worker now <laughs> in, um, in the center. I pr uh, progressed through there. So, and, I'm, and I really love to work with the kids. It's giving me good pleasure as well. It's helping my English as well and helping me with my own kids as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rena. I am a youth and community worker based in Ashen Underline. Um, I work for a charity called Lindley Educational Trust and we run a youth provision in Ashton called Ashton Youth Club. So the centre is one of our main bases for Ashton Youth Club, uh, meaning we, at the moment we run five nights a week and two of those sessions are based here. So this is the main hub, the centre is the main hub for Ashton Youth Club. Um, we run two sessions here at the moment. One is a general youth provision for um, quite difficult to young, engage with young people where we have a general youth provision, table tennis, pool, conversations, card games, that kind of thing. The second session that we run is an outdoor pursuit session. Uh, so that's mainly our winter skills expedition where we work with a group of young girls and young boys for a year long project. And in the end, we take them away on a winter mountaineering expedition to the Cairngorm Mountains in Scotland. Um, the centre also holds, we, our office is based here. So that is really handy for us. So. Um, we have a focal point that we can come to every day whenever we need to to get our work done and also if young people need to come and have a chat with us whatever it might be we've got a focal place that we can come also within the center we have been provided a kit store so of course we use the outdoors as a tool of engagement with young people and that means we have lots of kit so we are able to um, keep our jackets boots what climbing shoes a whole lot um, here in the centre which makes it really easy, easy and accessible for us. Okay so for the future uh, we're quite fortunate that we've just managed to secure £20,000 in funding towards a trip to go on an expedition to Everest Space Camp. So what we'll be doing is we'll be taking a group of eight young girls from black and minority ethnic backgrounds from Ashton and we're going to take them on a two and a half week expedition to Nepal. That is something that we're really, really looking forward to and most of our sessions will take place here and our meeting will take place here at the centre so that's something that we're really, really excited about. This expedition will be enabling us to break down barriers and stereotypes that women from Asian backgrounds generally face. So my name is Alish Sheikh. I'm 17 and Lindley Educational Trust, so Youth Club, that's been a massive part for my like journey, my experiences. Like it's given me so many opportunities such as Everest Camp, um, Junior Football, Out of Bound Trust, that's like a lot year long project that I'm part of. And um, also apart from that it's um, given me opportunity to become an FA level one football coach and I'm volunteering as well 
for football like junior and without like youth club and without Lynn the Educational Trust I don't feel like I would have had the chances I've had up until now.